Hey guys, in today's video I bring the modeling process to yet another product design. Today's video we will feature a model using cylinder as a base. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and comment here what I would like to see in the next videos. So let's go to class. Let's start by creating a line. In thickness, we put the value 35. Holding shifts in rotate modes, we will create a copy. We position the center line higher. Again, let's create another copy of our cylinder. Let's change the gizmo to locale and correctly position our cylinders. Once this is done, we convert it to editable poly and add the boolean to join the cylinder. We convert again and now we adjust the excess vertices. Let's use collapse to join all these points. We do the same on the other side. I'm going to scale this face. And with quick slice, we are going to add some loops. With the edge constraint, we adjust the position of the loop. We do the same on the other part. Let's adjust the center vertices. I will also add it to the central cylinder. Now, let's create some cuts in the piece. I will use the chamfer to create new loops and the extrude to create the cuts. Let's do the same in the other parts where we created the loops. On this face, we will create a double chamfer. And then we will separate this piece using the attach. Let's return in the gizmo to location and adjust the inside of this part. To finish, we will add support loops to maintain the shape. For the other sides, we will create a similar detail just using shift and face extrude. We add some support loops. And on the edge, we create a double chamfer. Returning to the piece we separated, we insert support loops around the edges. In 
the central piece, we use the detach to separate to the top part. With quick slice again, we create a loop in the part and delete the top face. Here, we will extrude that face to create the interior to this part. On this upper edge, we will scale by holding shift to give thickness to the piece. At the edge, we create a chamfer and at the bottom, we add the support loops with the out one. Let's align the edge with the base. Returning to the central piece, we will enlarge this cylinder and create a cut with the quick slice. The upper part we delete. Now let's add support loops to central piece without one. We add the smooth modifier and place support loops in some areas. At the top, we will scale again to create a thickness and add a chamfer at the edge. In the middle, we add three loops with the connect of edges. In the separate piece, we also add the modifier to soften. In this piece, we will add two loops in the center and add the smoothing modifier. To make the piece transparent, the shortcut is Alt X. And ready, the model is finished. I hope you like the contents. See you next time. Bye! Subscribe to the channel, it's very important.